Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another What's For Dinner video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but on my channel I provide the points for all three Weight Watcher programs, and I also give calories as well. So tonight for dinner, I'm making loaded up chicken bake. This is a recipe I found off of the Skinny-ish dish. And for this recipe, the points are seven points on green, six points on blue and purple, and about 315 calories, and that's for one sixth of the pan. So this is gonna make six servings. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna have a serving for lunch tomorrow. It's actually Thursday right now, and I don't have anything prepped for Thursday or Friday. So I'm gonna make this for dinner and I'll probably have it for lunch tomorrow. So for me, for my dinners, I usually keep them up around maybe 10 points and 500 calories because usually my breakfast and lunch is lighter. So I'm probably gonna do maybe one and a half portions of this. So it's gonna be about nine points for me for dinner. I'll see how big the portions are and go accordingly. So the first thing I've done is preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna go through the ingredients with you real quick and then I'm gonna get my chicken cooking. So this calls for two cups of shredded or chopped chicken. I'm going to be using these frozen chicken tenderloins. I'm going to toss them in my instant pot and just cook them up real quick that way. And then you can either shred them. Usually when I shred them, I use a mixer, an electric mixer and shred my chicken. But I'm thinking this time I may just leave it chopped. I may just chop it up into small pieces rather than shred it. So, but you can do either one for this recipe. The other ingredients we're going to need a seven and a half ounce can of buttermilk biscuits, a 10 and a half ounce can of cream of chicken soup, a half a cup of non-fat or fat-free sour cream, a half a cup of real bacon bits. So I didn't have quite enough of these. These are the bacon bits that I used. So what I did is took the Appleton Farms fully cooked bacon that you get from Aldi and I just chopped that up so that I had a half a cup. We also need three quarters of a cup of reduced fat cheddar cheese. Also one tablespoon of ranch seasoning mix. I just used this Hidden Valley ranch seasoning mix. So one tablespoon of that. And then finally, four stalks of green onion that I'm gonna chop up in just a minute. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my chicken cooking. So the other thing I have here is one cup of reduced sodium chicken broth. So I'm gonna just put that right in the bottom of my Instant Pot. And then for this chicken, this is actually frozen. So I'm gonna be putting it right in the Instant Pot frozen. It's only gonna cook for about six minutes and then naturally release for five. So for this recipe, I just need two cups. I'm gonna cook this whole bag and then what I'll do is just freeze any that I have left over. So just dump that in there and then just kind of move it around just a little bit. Kind of get it coated with some of that broth. And then the top is going on there. And then make sure you have it in sealed, which mine automatically does. And then we're going to do pressure cook for six minutes. Okay, so now that's gonna take a little bit of time to come up to pressure, usually about 10, 12 minutes. Once that's up to pressure, it's gonna start the countdown. I'm gonna let it cook for six minutes, and then I'm gonna leave it alone and let it naturally release for five minutes, and then I will quick release the rest of the pressure out. Okay, so while the chicken's going, now I'm just gonna get my green onions chopped. These are actually really big ones, so I think I might just use three of them. All right, green onion is all cut up. Now we're gonna need two different bowls. One is gonna be for the chicken mixture, but first I'm gonna just take this small bowl and in here we're gonna add the bacon bits, the cheddar cheese, and half of the green onion. And then just mix that around. and then set that aside. 
Now we're going to take the other bowl. When the chicken's done, this the chicken's going in here, but I'm going to get the rest of the stuff in there and ready before the chicken's done. So now we're going to put the soup in there. The sour cream. The ranch seasoning mix. And the rest of the green onion. And then I'm gonna just mix that up a little bit while I wait for the chicken. And then, like I said, we're gonna add the chicken to this as well. Okay, for now I'm gonna set it aside. Now we're gonna take a 13 by nine inch baking dish and I've sprayed it very generously with cooking spray. Now just take the biscuits, pop it open, and then we're just gonna break all the biscuits around in the bottom. All right, just make sure that's spread around evenly. Now, one thing that I do with these bubble up recipes that is not in her recipe is I pop this in the oven for about five minutes just to cook up some of the dough because sometimes on some recipes, to me, the dough is just a little bit too doughy for me. So this way, popping it in the oven for five minutes just to kind of get it started does seem to help. So I'm gonna pop that in the oven just for five minutes and then I'll come back to you when the chicken is done. Okay, so this has been sitting actually for six minutes. I didn't catch it quite right at five. So now I'm just gonna let the rest of the pressure out. So now I'm just gonna pull, oh, fogging you up here. So now I'm just pulling some of these out and, oh yeah, that's nice and tender. I'm gonna let it sit here on my cutting board just for a couple minutes. And then I'm gonna cut up enough for two cups. And then like I said, the rest of it, I'll probably just shred up and freeze it and save it for a different recipe. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my knife and honestly, it's just breaking right apart. So I don't even, I really almost don't even need a knife. So I said I was going to make chopped chicken, but th this is so tender that it's kind of turning into shredded chicken anyway. Okay. Now I'm just measuring out about two cups. Whoops. Now for me, chicken breast, I'm on blue, so chicken breast is zero for me, so I can really just eyeball it. But if you're on green or you're counting calories, then you probably wanna be a little bit more exact. So that chicken tenderloin from Aldi, like I said, frozen six minutes in the Instant Pot and then let it naturally release for five and it's perfect for recipes like this. Okay, now I'm gonna get that red bowl and now just add the chicken to that. Mix that around. In the meantime, the bowl that I had the cheese and the, what was it, cheese bacon bits and green onion, I put that bowl in my fridge just because I didn't want the cheese to sit out that long. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of Himalayan salt and black pepper. Now take the pan with the biscuits and just spread the chicken mixture over the top. And try and get it as even as you can. Okay, that is going in the oven for about 20 minutes. It's gonna, we're gonna leave it uncovered, put it in the 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. Okay, while that is baking, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the rest of the chicken. So I pulled the rest of the chicken out and I put it in a measuring cup and it's probably about two and a half cups. I did weigh it and it's about 12 ounces. 
So that way I can save that for another recipe. So since I'm not planning on using that this week, I'm gonna freeze it and that way I'll have it in my freezer for another recipe. So I'm just gonna put it in this bag and seal this shut. And I'm just gonna label it so that I know what's in it. So it's probably about two and a half cups or 12 ounces cooked chicken and I'm gonna put chicken breast so I know it's zero for blue and then I'm gonna take my sealer this vacuum sealer is actually really old <laughs> I don't even know if they still have this I think I have it in my Amazon store I'll link it down below but like I said it may be when you get to it it may link you to it and tell you that it's not available because this is pretty old I've had it for a long time I've thought about getting an updated one, but honestly, this works fine, so I figure why why bother doing that at this point. So now, just carefully dump the chicken in there. And then I'm going to try to smooth it out the best that I can. It's still a little bit warm. I thought that was pretty much cooled down. And there we go. So I'll just toss that in my freezer and I'll have that for another recipe. So just some bonus footage for you. All right, so that's what it looks like now. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. So that's been in 20 minutes. So now we're gonna take the cheese, bacon, and green onion mixture and just put that over the top. And the best thing about this is as I've been going on each step, I was able to wash my dishes in between. So by the time this is done, this is gonna be the only thing I have left to clean is this baking dish. So now I'm gonna put that back in the oven, uncovered, 350 degrees still for 15 minutes. All right, so that just got done, just came out of the oven. That's what it looks like, it smells so good. So now I'm gonna let this sit for five minutes before I plate it up. So that's been sitting for about five minutes. Now I'm just gonna portion it out into six pieces. This would actually probably do a good lunch prep as well. All right. I'm going to give this a try. My husband is actually not here, so usually he helps me taste test, but he's not here yet. So if he gets home and I remember, then I will get his opinion on it. So I haven't quite decided whether I'm going to do one and a half portions or not. I think I may just put like a side salad or something with it and then I'll just have the one portion but let's give this a try okay I love it it's really good it's like a homey comfort type food it, ha it reminds me of something and I, I don't know what it's not at first I was thinking chicken pot pie but that's not what it is maybe it reminds me a little bit of like a chicken divan like it, if it had broccoli in it which actually you know what I think some cooked broccoli mixed in with this would actually be really good yes in fact that's what I'm gonna do on the side I think what I'm gonna do is just whip up some broccoli and have that with it Okay, so you're getting some bonus footage today. So now I'm gonna just put some broccoli together. I'm gonna use my Instant Pot because I love broccoli in the Instant Pot. So I have one cup of water down in the bottom and then I've just washed my broccoli right in this and then put that in there. I'm gonna put the top on it and this is literally gonna go for one minute. 
If you have one that needs to be sealed, make sure to seal it. Now all I'm gonna do is hit pressure cook and I'm only gonna put it on for one minute. So that's going to take a little bit of time to get up to pressure. It's going to cook for one minute. As soon as it's done on that one minute, I'm going to quick release it. I'm going to let the pressure out right after that one minute because otherwise the broccoli will overcook. That's how I cook my broccoli. That's it. So I'm going to come back after and show you the entire plate. This is what it looks like with the broccoli. Definitely, I think, will be fine for just the one serving. So again, I really, really love this one. Six points on blue and purple, seven points on green. And then if you're counting calories, 315 for the bubble up and probably about 25 for your broccoli. Testing, one, two, three. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Thumbs up. Papa approved. <laughs> Papa approved. So I hope you all liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. You're perfect as you are. Just the